let's take a look at how to calculate range. The range of a data set is always the largest number minus the smallest. Okay, so if we look at our data set here, we can see that the largest number is 10. So I'm going to say 10 minus, and the smallest number is 1. So 10 minus 1 would give us a range of 9. Okay, what is the range? Well, again, I'm going to say the biggest number minus the smallest. This time, my biggest number is 8 minus my smallest number is 1. So 8 minus 1 is going to give me a range of 7. What is the range? Okay, well my biggest number in this data set is 3 minus the smallest number is 1. Well, 3 minus 1, that gives us a range of 2. Okay, so again, we're always saying the biggest minus the smallest number to find the range. So the biggest number here is 9 minus the smallest number is 1. That gives us a range of 8 when we subtract. Okay, this time our biggest number is 6. There's actually two 6s, but it's still the biggest number. Minus the smallest number is 4. Same thing, there's actually two of them, but it's still the smallest number. And then 6 minus 4 gives us a range of 2. Okay, our biggest number here is 10 minus the smallest number is 3. So that's going to give us a range of 7. Okay, our biggest number is 10 minus the smallest number is 5. So when we subtract, we're going to get a range of 5. Okay, this time our biggest number is 10 minus our smallest number of 3. And that's going to give us a range of 7. Okay, this time the biggest number is 10 minus the smallest number is 7, that's going to give us a range of 3. Right, so notice it's telling you how far apart are the biggest and smallest numbers. Okay, so our biggest number is 10 minus the smallest number of 3, that's a range of 7, where the biggest and smallest number are 7 apart.